All right, it is time to hook up these booms with the overhead piping. So they just put these things in there. You see all our outlets. They're all wrapped up in here right now. They haven't taken them apart yet. But as we get up here, we gotta, you see how they mounted this thing? I mean, this thing's one inch thick. Come up here, you gotta make sure all the stems you put in match the number of hoses for a specific beam. So I got the nitrogen, CO2 down there, hooked us all up. And then we'll put it under pressure. After all these are hooked up, I got 11 of them, 11 ORs down here. There's still some finished trim they need to put on these things. So. DISS fitting in these risers so when you unscrew it it'll seal and when you screw it back in it's a demand check DISS demand check is inside of it so I don't want to kink all these I want them nice and smooth routed so they don't kink under pressure or vacuum so they look like when I mounted this plate I knew they were coming up to the middle so I had to make sure there's access to this piece of metal right here Block some of the access holes so I had to make sure everything lined up because there's a wag in the back down there. So, wag obviously comes off the vacuum. So, yeah, so that's it. I'll put these guys under pressure and then after I'm done, I'll verify these don't leak. The crimp fittings might leak sometimes, these things. We'll see. All right, well, that's what it looks like after everything's done, after all the hard lids are in place. regulator so they can regulate how much nitrogen they want co2 diss you can't screw it up that air give you three vacuums on this side another air we have the anesthesia boom with the wet we're missing nitrous oxide in this job so these guys look like after it's all done. After we're all done after this, we're gonna do some cross connections, blowdowns. There's TV screens, a lot more stuff that goes on these things. So, yep. All right. Check back in with the blowdown. Piping purge test on. So. 